today I'm going to show you how to make a Sailor Moon inspired Luna and Artemis blend toad in preparation for the Sailor Moon Crystal series that's about to come out. I'm so excited for this reboot. So here it is. I made this bento box using um, some scrap clay and then wrapping it around with aluminum foil and then putting some clay over the aluminum foil, baking it for about 10 minutes and then taking it out. So then you have this shape. So as you can see, this is just scrap clay. And now we're just going to fill in the bento with veggies and a Luna head. And I'm not going to talk much for that portion. You can just see what I do. You can also recreate this bento however you'd like. So I hope you guys enjoy. For the lettuce, I mixed around different green colors and then I used a small dotting tool to kind of rip them apart and then place them on the inside of the bento. And it should look something like this. Now this doesn't have to be perfect, but the next thing we're going to do is make the Luna head and you're going to do the exact same thing for the Artemis head. Uh, place two triangles on top of a circle and then use a toothbrush or whatever you'd like to use to texture it to make it look more rice-like. You can also cut out individual pieces and put them on to be rice, but I found this to be a little tedious. Then I took some pearl clay and then added on the eyes and a little moon. And then I also added on a little pink ham for the tongue and placed it inside my bento box. Then again, like I said, you're going to do the same thing for Artemis and this is pretty much what it looks like. If I could have done this differently, I would have made Luna's eyes red. The next thing I am doing is I am making the other veggies and the other foods to go in the bento. So here I am making some egg and I know there's different ways to make egg pieces or scrambled egg but this is the way I'm doing it. So I rolled some yellow and white or pearl and um, I just started cutting them into little pieces as you can see and they're going to be super super tiny and we're going to put this on the sides of the bento. Don't forget you can decorate this however you'd like and like I said for the rice you can always cut out individual small pieces of clay and then add them on but it was just too long for me. Here I'm making some carrots so I took some orange clay, cut them in half and then I used my blade to texture the side. Then I took some translucent red clay and then cut them in half a couple times until I like the size. And these were my tiny, tiny tomatoes. Oh, I almost forgot. Don't forget to add some stems on your carrots. And this is pretty much what your bento should look like so far. Now I'm adding some seaweed. So I took some black clay, textured it with a toothbrush, and then it looked kind of like more seaweed, you know, a little crinkled. And then I started cutting it up into little pieces and placing it inside my bento. So here you can see I put it right there in the middle. And the last thing I did was I made some small little ham pieces, as you can see with this pink clay right here. And then I just added it to the left side of my bento. And there you have it. Now you just have to bake at 275 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes. And that's pretty much it. So the next clip you're gonna see that it's all baked. It doesn't look too different. And don't forget to check out Lisa's tutorial when she uploads it so I'll put that down below. I hope you guys enjoyed.